Um, so, uh, <laughs> the reason why it sounded like I was across the room from my mic is because on my headset, uh, well, my headset was up. It wasn't on my face. It, it, it was up. So, um, yeah, uh, the, the, the mic was effectively nearer to the top of my head than my mouth, so... Um, yeah, I'm silly. I, I suppose I was worrying more about the instant disconnection I had at the start of the stream. Oh, you've never done that? I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's alright, though. That's alright. Consider all of that edited out. And probably this explanation edited out as well. <laughs> Uh, how are you doing today, KMS? Hopefully you are bloody wonderful today. All wet out in the end. Exactly. That's what it's all about. But hopefully you're well today, KMS. Hopefully you are most well for what will more than likely be a very calm and quiet stream. But it'll be a fun one, right? How are you? I'm ready. I'm ready to play some Mabel. I've had a good day and I'm ready to go. Should we get into it? Let's get into it. Let's bloody get into it. Let's figure this out together, shall we? Let's friggin' go. Welcome. Do you remember this game? Oh, this game that you got for free all those many moons ago? And then I bought it, because it looked pretty good. Do you remember it? Oh. Uh, alright, here we go. Yeah. So, yeah. Welcome to Mabel in the Wood. Um, this is a fun game. Um, there's surprisingly little uh, info on this game in terms of playthroughs or guides or whatever. I have beaten this game once. I think I still have my... Well, I have my playthrough 2 file, which happens when you beat playthrough 1. They make you go through multiple playthroughs. But, um, yeah, uh... Yeah, I'm going to try and do a stream playthrough, if that's okay. And hopefully this will serve as a guide on, on, the, on the old YouTubes. Maybe to anyone who might randomly have this game and is super frustrated by it. But also, I wanted to play this game because uh, one of our lovely uh, viewers and my bestie's bestie, KMS RRTX, uh, it's her birthday uh, next week. So I started to play for a little early for her. And, uh, yeah, hopefully we can have some fun with it. So, uh, yeah, let's get right into it, shall we? Mabel and the Ward. No one's heard of this game, but that makes it cool, right? Let's friggin' go. Yeet! Awaken! Awaken! Arise! Arise! First bird of June. Carry us through the night. Awaken! Awaken! Hey, uh, look, it's a tiny sword! Oh! Hello! Oh! Is, 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 that, is, that a, is that a little girl? That is not a little girl. That is the bringer of dawn. Looks like a little girl to me, Derek. Uh, well, um, um, a chosen form matters not, Terry. She can change shape at will. Aye. All right, let's do it. So yes, I can turn into a fairy. She's turned into a fairy. I thought all that fairies were dead. I don't think she's actually a fairy. Sh shut up, everyone, shut up. Is this what you're expecting, Alderoy? Shut up, shut up. It's all right, the prophecy is clear. She is a walker. Oh, great one. We have been preparing for your arrival. Please, follow me, love. Follow me. I know this must all feel a, a little unusual. I mean, are you human or are you a fairy? Just take a little time to get used to it. Oh, great one. This way. Yes. So, yes. Welcome to Mabel in the Woods. Uh, and the Woods, sorry. What is Derek now exactly? I call him Derek. His name's Alderoy, but what kind of name is that? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so yes, you play as this tiny little girl, the bringer of dawn, supposedly, and uh, her big deal is that she's she's got this little sword, but it's a little too heavy for her, and as you can see, she's dragging it on the ground. It's kind of adorable in a way, but she also has the ability to turn into other things, and the form that we get early on is the fairy, and the fairy can move around very, very quickly and can fly up into the air, but she loses her sword. She drops it whenever she goes into this fairy mode. She can bring it back to her, but um, yeah, that's pretty much it. She can't really use her sword to attack in a traditional sense. More on that story later. Let's get friggin' hyped, shall we? Oh, hi there! If I started lying back to it, yeah, exactly. Yeah, we'll see that when we get into some combat. Oh, hi! I'm the official sign painter. Hey, Holy Ghost. Welcome, welcome. How are you today, my good friend? Hopefully you're well. Hopefully you've had a lovely week. Lovely to see you. I'm the official sign painter. I hope you find them helpful. I spent a lot of time painting them. Lovely. So we get to read some signs, which is good. Press A to drop your sword and fly. We already know that. Press A again to summon your sword back to you. Lovely. Hopefully you're well, Holy. How's your week gone, my good friend? How's your week gone? Uh, we can collect these little diamonds here as well, which can act as currency in certain shops. We'll spend some later, more than likely. Press up while flying to fly even higher. Yeet! This is not pacifist, correct? I'm not going pacifist. Yes, one of the interesting things about this game is, whilst it is a Metroidvania, um, where basically you uh, are a supposed to like go to one room find an item which will allow you to go into another room it's um it, th there is a pacifist route where you don't need to kill any bosses i don't know it but i will do one day huh. you can fly until your magic runs out it recharges when you land and that kind of helps us get over gaps like this we're not going to collect all the diamonds because we don't need them all but uh yeah let's keep going shall we i'll see it when you figure it out it's hard to do for sure <laughs> And this is how combat works in fairy mode, at the very least. So on the right, you'll see an owl. This little owl will hurt us if we touch it. However, if we fly over it with the fairy, and then we create a line between where our sword has landed and us, when we recall our sword the sword will actually wallop the enemy. So effectively, you draw a line of damage. And if we can, we can do it here as well, if we time it right, there you go, we can get both at the same time by um, calling our sword at exactly the right time. There you go, that's how combat work. Yes, if the line goes red, that's when you need to recall your sword for sure. Oh, okay, all right, we're doing it, we're doing it. You are the one the prophecy speaks of. The bringer of dawn is resurrected. You must hunt the great beasts. You must kill them and tear their shape. The prophecy foretold all of this. You will carry us through night. You will save us all. Everyone's northern in this. But welcome to Act 1. But usually where the game begins. I'm so happy right now. Yay! Glad you're loving it. These fiery torches act as save points, fly anywhere near them, and you will be able to save the. Well, you'll be able to respawn there every time you die, because believe me, you can die in this game. Now, there are multiple paths, as you expect from a Metroidvania. As you can see here, this is a cave. However, we can't really do much about it. We might be able to come here later if we had a different form. So, that's where the Metroidvania stuff kind of happens. Also, restore your health. Very handy indeed. Yeah. Right, let's push this down, and one of the cool things you can do here with the forms is that you can drop your sword straight away, it will weight down that, uh, that pressure plate, and then you can just fly through. That's kind of stops you from having to race through under the thing so you don't get crushed. But yeah, you retract your sword, and everything's good again. Alright, lad. Wow, that was awesome. I wish I could fly. I can barely even walk with all this armor on. Well, you poor thing. You poor thing. We can also push barrels, apparently. I didn't know you could do that. Amazing. Right. Let's go find other people to talk to, shall we? Hello, fella. Hello there. Are you heading east? I'm heading up these mountains to find the Great Bridge. At least I am if I can get past these damn vines. Yeah, see, we can't get past those vines yet. We don't really have what we need to do it, so I guess we'll keep going. 
apparently we were just at the mountain pass, which is awesome. Alright, what can we do here? Alright, love. These guys all have so much dialogue if you keep talking to them. I know, but don't worry, I'm gonna keep talking to them. <laughs> so, you're the saviour those idiots are on about. Well, get on with it then. <sighs> Probably better dead than alive these days. All these idiots prattling on and on and on. Well, if you ask me, it's all those idiots making the world the way it is. Ugh. It used to be lovely around these parts. There used to be people around these parts. Those idiots have scared most of them off. they got good folks whittling about the end of the world. If, if the world's ending, where are you going to run to? Well, as far as I know, they've all run to Priory. Call it a priory. It's more rubble than walls last I heard. There's no salvation there, oh, let me tell you. Oh, go on then. Get out of it. Go on. There you go. There'll be a lot of dialogue in this game. We won't be getting all of it, but we'll do our best to get as much as we can. Excuse me. Who are you and how did you get in here? Ugh. Eee. Best voices. Thank you for the 200 bits. Thank you for the big hooks and the big bits. Appreciate it. Oh, that damn incompetent fool. I'd have had his head by now if we had any heads to spare. Well, never mind. Just be careful with that sword, or I'll be forced to confiscate it. I'd like to see you try, fella. I'd like to see you try. Right, uh, we need a direction. Now, you can actually go into... Uh, you can actually go into this well, but unfortunately we do need a key before we can do that. So, maybe we can find a key around here somewhere. Alright, fella. Oh, eh. Hey. Haven't you been evacuated yet? Uh, have you, have you lost your parents? If they're not around here, then they'll already be at Priory. We'll help you get there too, don't worry. So apparently there's a Priory that everyone's been evacuated to. Why have they been evacuated though? Interesting. Oh, hello there. I'm, I'm waiting for me brother. Then we're, we're heading to Priory. See, apparently the Priory's where it's at. Let's go find this Priory, shall we? Now we can't go any, in any of these houses, unfortunately. Not yet, anyway. I'm not a babysitter. Evacuate yourself. This is the worst posting ever. Oh, poor fella. That's all right. Let's move on, shall we? Let's move on. All right, lad. I'm sorry, but I can't open gate for you. It's too dangerous out there for little girls. Unless you think you can open it by yourself. I don't care if you've got a sword. Can you even lift that thing? I don't need to, fella. Have a load of this. Can you not go into the house? I thought you could get into one of them. I think you probably can. I'm not too sure if you have to, like, um, do something first. But we'll see. We'll see. Because we will be coming back to this area in a second. You're more than welcome to try the lever. I'll bet it's heavier than that sword, though. I've already opened it, lad. You have to do swordy things, I think. Yeah. You know the sword that you can't even lift? Aye. That's the funny thing about this character. You can't even lift the sword. <laughs> so that was the village of Velarandal. Lovely. We're not into the nice, peaceful woods again, which is nice. I'm sure there'll be no harm here. One of the things that I like about this game is the movement. The, the controls are... Super wonderful. Like, as you can cl clearly see here, I'm just kind of like skipping across the uh, the map by just kind of like skimming um, my sword across the landscape and using fairy mode to zip on by. That was one of the first things that I kind of loved about this game. I mean, it looks great. It's all that pixely kind of uh, stuff which everyone goes for. You know, if you play games like Celeste and all that, um, you know, you'll be a big fan of that kind of thing. Uh, somewhat secret shop, by the way. Um, alright, love. Yeah! Welcome to me humble store! Not secret, really. I thought it was secret when I first found it, but, uh, it's not that secret. It's lovely and music is so good. Yeah, exactly. It's a fun game, for sure. We have everything a mythical hero could hope for. And we're actually able to trade the diamonds that we've been collecting for, um, you know, certain potions. So, uh, I'll buy myself a health potion, because honestly, I'm going to lose all of this money anyway. I actually never found a whole bunch of shops throughout this game when my first playthrough. This is like one of the only ones I could find, so... Yeah, we'll see, we'll see how that goes. We'll see how long we can keep this potion for, because, uh, believe me, I do take a lot of damage in this playthrough. 
some of them are hidden. Yeah, they're, they're not easy to find, are they? Yeah. But yeah, I just love skipping in this game. Like, it's so good. Right, so yes, we are supposed to find different forms. We're supposed to, like, destroy all the beasts and take their forms. So, where are these beasts? Are these the little ones around here? Um, ow. Rude. Um, so there you go, first bit of damage already. Um, or is there something more to worry about? We're supposed to take their form, so, uh, I don't know, do we gain their powers once we do defeat them? I guess we do, right? We get to, you know, do whatever they do, so that would be fun. Uh, but we will see eventually when we actually kind of get into more of the boss fights later on. There you go. So yeah, it's a platformer with a difference, you know, like, you're, you're not necessarily jumping, but, well, you're jumping in a sense, you know, like, it's controlled jumping. Yeah, let's call it that. <laughs> Heavy story-based platformer. Yeah, I think that's a good term for it. Right, let's go down this big wall. I'm sure nothing bad will happen. With fun mechanics. Yeah, and giant spiders! The Queen of the Woods, ladies and gentlemen. Our first boss. Uh, I'd say nice easy one, but I've not played this game for a while, so... Uh, uh, give me... Give me a second to uh, try and get back into it. Uh, Alright, here we go. Alright, what you up to, fella? What you up to? There you go. Alright. Where you going? Where you going, lad? You gonna jump at me? No, you can't jump at me. There's a little bit of an invisible wall at the far right and far left, basically, because uh, the spider can only jump in certain ways, and it can't really jump off screen. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's it, you can kind of like hide on certain parts of the screen, which is awesome. Let's go leave my sword there. There you go. I am actually kind of dying. <laughs> I'm gonna take that health potion. <laughs> Oh, tie into first boss, DJ. You can't do that. Oh, man. It's only so many tries with her my first time. I can't remember how I did my first time round, actually. Um, but there you go. So, basically, you kind of just drop your sword in a location where she's going to land. And then using that kind of recall mechanic, you uh, bring your sword back to you when she's within that red line. And she takes damage. Savage. Oh, Took it, did it, did it. And with the, with the poor spider down, what we can do now is we can actually turn into the spider. And what we can do with the spider is we can actually shoot webs. Speedrun strats, yeah. So there's, a, there's not many speedruns on this game. It's a very little known game, but apparently the speedrun strat is to use this darn spider web that gets flung around. And I'm gonna be honest, I hate it. I really hate it. I'd much rather just get a slower time doing this kind of fairy strat where you just move around like this. It's so much easier to control in my opinion. Yeah, it's so tricky. Very tricky indeed. She's dead! The prophecy was right after all! You can turn into a spider now too! That should help you climb mountain! They say base that resides there is a giant made of stone! I'm sure you'll find a way to kill him. Uh, this game's about murder. That's nice, isn't it? Now, as I said before, this is a Metroidvania of sorts, and the traditional thing with Metroidvanias is, is that you are able to break through things that you couldn't break through before because you haven't got that item. But with the spider web, we are able to break through these red walls, these red thorny walls. But also, to, to an earlier point, um, this can actually be done completely pacifist. Like, you don't need to kill anything. Uh, you actually don't even need to kill these regular mobs. You can actually get through this without killing a single boss or a single enemy. And so uh, there is a way to kind of progress through the game without actually dealing with the Spider Queen. Do I know it? You bet your ass I don't know it. But maybe I'll find out one day and tell you all about it. <laughs> Right, so we are very quickly now into the underground. Uh, we've learned how to combat. I don't know either. I, I thought I had an idea. Um, 
it involved getting the well key early, but I'm I'm not sure. I'm honestly not too sure. Um, but yeah, we'll we'll figure it out one day. We'll figure it out one day for sure. But yeah, we're in the underground cave thing, and as you can clearly see, there is a red wall in the way, so we can blast it with the web, and then we can blast that one with the web as well. Uh, yeah, you did. You get the well key early, maybe? Yeah, I think that's the strat, right? I might have skipped the mountain boss. Oh, well, there you go. There you go. I don't think I was able to do that. I hate these spider webs so much. <laughs> I hate these spider webs so much. Oh, God. Like, it's cool and all. You know, like, everyone loves a bit of Spider Man, right? In your second playthrough? Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. There you go. Spider webs are just so friggin' annoying. <laughs> Hold up! Hold up! So, yeah, the, the spider webs are pretty good at dragging you long distances, obviously. Like, you can climb your way up here quite easily, but at the same time, they're so hard to control. And this is probably the most difficult part of the early game. <laughs> Someone came! Oh, I don't think you can save me, can you? Well, swing over this lava and get help. Please, send help. If you make it to the other side... Alright. This part killed you so much? Yeah, I'm not great at this. Um, okay. Damn it, so close. <laughs> really wanted to first try that. Okay, also you can't do it like that. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's, you've kind of got to create a... Damn it, so close. You gotta create a very um, big kind of arc, uh, a, a very big swing, effectively. And it's not, it's not easy to do, but we got there. You have to manage your energy so much. Yeah, it's not easy for sure. Um, fans of Dark Souls uh, may be familiar with this kind of thing, but every time you die, your uh, your body gets frozen in a, in a place where you died, kind of. And once you uh, break that, I think you get your diamonds back, or at least a small portion of them anyway. So, uh, yeah, very Dark Souls kind of thing, but, you know, everything's a Dark Souls kind of thing nowadays. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, a nice mechanic that's uh, in every single game ever. Now, this cave was actually accessible um, prior to the spider boss. However, we wouldn't have been able to get through the red barriers. But uh, you saw this cave earlier because the shop is just up and to the right. So, yeah, uh, it, you kind of see how the map's all kind of connected, at least in the starting area anyway. Have you seen any of those cultists? Hey, SP with the goddamn sub. SP, my wonderful, gorgeous friend. Thank you, thank you for the 13 months of subbage. Hopefully you're well, my good friend. How are you? Let me know if you're willing to let me know. Hopefully you're well, though, good sir. Welcome, welcome. Have you seen any of those cultists sneaking around here? Eh? The wildlife has started to go wild. We can barely keep them at bear. Those damaged crazed, crazy cultists are to blame. I'm sure of it. Very well, just uh, chilling. Good, hope you're well too. I'm very good, thank you for asking. Very good indeed. You chill as much as you want, my good friend. I'm chilling too. I've got work tomorrow, so I'm having a nice, lovely chill, playing a fun game. But I don't really get a lot of time to play, so I'm glad I'm playing it today. Can you go up here? No, you can't, okay. I thought you might be able to go up the secret passage and all that. Oh god. What's this? This is a game called Mabel and the Wood. Uh, you play as a young girl called Mabel. She is the bringer of dawn. She is the the prophecy that a bunch of crazy cultists wanted to um, be true. And basically we need to go around killing monsters, taking their form, and uh, just being the hero that we are. It's a fun little game. It's a fun little game indeed. It's a game I've wanted to play on stream for a very long time and uh, it's one of KMS's favorites as well. So as it is so close to her birthday, I thought I'd do a little playthrough. It's my birthday again? Yeah, yeah, for sure. One of them, yeah. That was a pretty cool trick with flying. And the flying sword too? The lever's stuck now though. 
And animals are all crazy out there. So if you wouldn't mind closing gate again. Oh, will do, fella. There you go. Happy birthday. Yeah, it's, it's actually next week, but I've started to play for a little early. <laughs> but, um, yeah, um, I thought I'd do that. So yeah, one of the um, one of the early things about this game and its story is that you're starting to realize that A, you've got these cultists, B, you've got the town folk and the armed guard, and then C, you've got the monsters rising up. And the armed guard and the villagers kind of blame the cultists for all of this kind of thing. Um, so hopefully they don't see me as a monster as well. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. I'm not a babysitter. Evacuate yourself. All right, we don't need to do that. So, yeah, one of these houses. Can't you get into one of them? I thought you could. Hmm. Do you remember which house it is, KMS? I can't remember. It's been a while. Which house is it? It's not this one, because we've already been in this one. This is the old lady one. You have to wait your sword near the door. Ah, thank you, thank you. Uh, not that one. I couldn't, I couldn't quite remember. Oh, is it here? Oh, it's here. Here we go. I've already done it. <laughs> so yeah, if you whack your sword near the door, bust open, and you can get yourself a key. Now, what can we do with this key? I'll tell you what we can do with this key. We can actually head down this well now. Let's do it. Let's friggin' do it. Why not? Let's go down well. <laughs> so yeah, we're just a little girl in a bucket going down a well. The PTSD, yeah. I kind of accidentally fell upon this well, and I didn't really know what to do. But basically, yeah, you fall down well. And then we have a flashback. Babel, I thought I might find you here. What are you doing so deep in the wood? This is a flashback, ladies and gentlemen. Your mother will be worried sick. Mind you, it's her fault, filling your head with fairy stories. Let's go home. I know a shortcut. So like, that cutscene kind of suggests that, you know, Mabel here isn't necessarily just purely this god kind of prophecy character, but maybe she was a real girl as well. Maybe she had a family and all that. So hopefully we'll get to find out more about what happened to it as we play through the game. However, we have a door here and it requires a key. So let's go find a key, shall we? Want to grow up and become a real girl? Yeah, yeah, nothing wrong with that. <laughs> hey Scarlet, how you doing my good friend? Hopefully you are well. Hopefully you're well, my good friend. Friggin' slugs, girl. Oh, oh God, oh, oh God, forgot about you. Ah. No. All right, yep. I remember the reason why I shouldn't be killing those. I guess I got my reason. <laughs> Yeah, these uh, these little fellas. Um, yeah, not a big fan of them because uh, when you kill them, they uh, they spit out friggin' flies and stuff, which is not friggin' cool. Uh, so let's avoid those like the plague. Pretty good. Got the female back into playing Dynasty Warriors. Ooh, very cool. Very cool. Hopefully she's enjoying it, man. Hopefully she's enjoying it. That's really cool. Oh god, boss fight. Free bats. Oosh. Hey, hey, seven. How you doing, man? Hopefully you're well, my good friend. Welcome, welcome. How are you today? There you go. Easy. And we get ourselves a key from fighting those bats. You all right? You had a good day? Good, 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 good. Yeah, the bugs from killing the slugs are very relentless. They're very scary indeed. It's my dad's birthday, I think. Oh, well, happy birthday, I think. <laughs> um, did you, did you... Did you have a party? It was his birthday yesterday, but we had a party today. Oh, okay. I get that. A lot of people do that. A household party. Yeah, a lot of people do that. Well, happy birthday to him. Hopefully he had a wonderful time. Hopefully you did as well, my good friend. I've been mapping out these ancient cabins. Yeah. It's not finished, but you're welcome to take a copy. So, yes, you can get maps in this game. However, they're actually very, very hard to find. I actually really like the maps, even though... I mean, I mean they're, 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 simplest, they're kind of simplistic in a way, but some of them are quite hard to follow. Um, but yeah, the basic structure of this world is this. 
Um, if you look on the left hand side, you will see a tiny room uh, with like a little kind of redhead girl in it. That's where we currently are. And we need to make our way all the way to the far right where the big skull is. So, um, yeah, let's do it. Let's friggin' go. The only way is up. Oosh, baby. But yeah, hopefully, hopefully you and your dad had a fun day, H7, with the household party. Party hard and all that. And also, I hope there was cake. Do not remember that show. <laughs> Sorry, friend. Uh, right, what have we got around here? All oh, the little mole men have worker hats on. Lovely. So yes, now we're going to do some platforming over lava. Fantastic. Now, thankfully, when as well as soon as you touch the ground as the fairy, your uh, your magic does come back, which means that you can do some reasonably quick movement through these very dangerous platformy sections. There you go. Lovely. Lovely. Uh, I made him a cake yesterday, and it was kind of a failure. Oh, no. So my brother and my mum brought him a cake. Oh, that's nice, at least. I'm sorry that your cake didn't happen, though, man. I've not baked a cake for so long. Mine would probably be a failure. But, yeah, don't worry about it too much. Hopefully, uh... Hopefully the one that your your mom got was uh, pretty delicious. I'm sure it would be. <laughs> right, uh, let's make our way over to the right. Yes, we're looking to try and get that skull room on the far right of that map. So let's make our way to the right as much as we can. My cake has the texture of a squid. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, I'm sure I've made a cake like that in high school. <laughs> My map never had a little girl on it, did it not? Oh no, so yeah, you can see that I'm in the room with the the high kind of, um, you know, drop. You know, we could go up here if we wanted, or if we could anyway. But yeah, yeah, you basically gotta look for that little girl on the map, and then that's that's how you kind of figure your way through the, the map itself. Right, okay, let's friggin' go. Oh god. One of the cool uh, speedrun strats that I've kind of well, I didn't discover this. Well, I, I wasn't the first to discover this anyway. I kind of found it out on my own whilst playing. But when you're in fairy mode, if you get damaged by an enemy, you will get flung in the direction, in a direction super, super quickly. So it's certainly a really good idea to speed boost whilst damage boosting through this game. But can be a bit scary for a casual playthrough. Mine legit did not have that. I don't know why. Oof. Gosh, don't know then, don't know then. Maybe the PC version's a little bit buggy. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's fine. You'll get through this game eventually, uh, regardless of whether there's a map or not. I'm sure. Uh, there you go. Lava hurts, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't really have the materials to make a cake. No. What did you make it out of then? <laughs> did you legit make it out of squid? <laughs> oh, God. Uh, either way, I'm sure. I'm sure everyone had fun anyway. Calamari cake? Yeah, right? Fish cakes are a thing. Why not make squid cakes? <laughs> there we go. These little areas are quite tricky. We are over lava. We've got bats kind of nibbling, nibbling at our heels. And uh, we've got to try and float over the lava as quickly as we possibly can. But it's fun to try and do it. That room was so hard for me. Oh, I love it. I, I, I love the dangerous rooms like that. Because it kind of, it shows off how, how cool this movement is and how unique the, damn it. <laughs> how unique the movement is in this game. Um, you're going to get to see it again, KMS. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, so when you die, you respawn at one of those torches, uh, which are usually in quite forgiving places, that's for sure, in my opinion, anyway. There we go. Now, I made it how you would um, normally make a cake, but like I had to use uh, different sugar, use normal shop butter, and I'm pretty sure the eggs I use are off. Oh, okay, I understand. Uh, sounds delicious. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure, you know, for someone who had those ingredients available to them, I'm sure it was a pretty good cake for for what you had available. Um, but yeah, gosh, you poor thing. 
Uh, right. Now, do we go up or do we go down? Um, we can go either way, actually. So let's go, let's go up. Let's go up. Let's see what up gives us. I don't actually know what all of the little symbols on the map mean. Um, but yeah. How are you guys today? I'm pretty good, thank you very much, my good friend. I've had a most wonderful day. A nice, relaxy Sunday, hate seven. Maybe you add some buttercream on it, because it's right now. Buttercream, buttercream is amazing. <laughs> Buttercream uh, saves a lot of days, you know. It's great stuff. I want to get down there. Ah, now what's down here? I wonder. I'm not quite sure what's down here. Buttercream uh, over icing any day. Yeah. Well, I mean, why not have both, right? So many blind jumps. Yeah, you gotta be careful with this game. There are quite a few blind jumps, but that's why it's really good to kind of probe these areas with the fairy mode. Like being able to kind of like wangle Mabel in a in a direction where you can't really see things safely because you know you're, you're flying around. It's really, really handy. Now this is a thing. Let me show you what this thing is. It's an upgrade. So yes, just like in Metroidvanias and all that, you can upgrade your character. And if you collect those yellow ones, you will get a bigger magic bar, which means that you can fly for longer and use your other powers for longer as well. Never seen that? There you go. Consider yourself educated. <laughs> oh man. Uh, right, so this is actually a dead end. Interesting, didn't know that. Did not know that we must have to go the other way. Let's go the other way then. Uh, where are we heading? Oh, can we go down here? Uh, I suppose technically we... Well, that's more of a safety uh, drop, I think. Just in case you do fall down there accidentally. That's fine. Well, this is another thing. My mum only got me chocolate icing to decorate it and she thinks the chocolate spread she got for me tastes like washing up liquid. Ew. Gosh, that's no good. Sounds cheap. Ugh. You know, you want you want you want good chocolate spread all the time. I'm sure. Is this the Never? No, this is. Well, it looks like the Never, doesn't it? Actually. Um. All right. Here we go. Come on, bats. Yeet. Uh, it does look like the Never, kind of, with all of the the lava and the rockiness. But uh, no, this is the uh, the underground caverns of uh, uh, the place where. Uh, this young girl uh, was born, I guess. Uh, I think I've been this way, haven't I? I think I've been that way. Yeah. So now I need to kind of figure out where I need to go, because it's been a while. Now... I think I can do this. I think I can do this. So we're gonna try... And <laughs> die instantly. <laughs> Where do I go at that point? I can't quite remember. Oof, yeah, exactly. It's it's hard being a spider. Imagine being a spider and living underground. Alright. Beats me, I wandered this place for months. Yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Yeah, there's a lot to do there, but I think I can do it. I think I can do it. Let's go do it. Let's try and... Let, let's let's be pro gamers today, ladies and gentlemen. Let's friggin' go. Alright, kill that bat. Ow. Kill that bat. There we go. Alright, okay, so... No, I can't do the web thing quick enough. Interesting. Okay. So where do I go from here, then? I wonder if I can get lower. Uh, let's see. Alright, lad, how are you doing? Okay, there we go. Cool. For those of you who are just coming in and you don't know what all of this flying attacks, all these flying attacks are all about, when we fly around, we leave our sword on the ground and we create this kind of distance between us and the sword. When we recall the sword, the sword will follow that dotted line. And if any enemies are in that line, they will die or take damage at the very least. So that's how you attack in this game. I'm gonna try this direction. I don't, I, I'm not too sure, but I don't think I've been this way. Yeah, I don't think I've been this way. Let's try this way. Here we go. So let's be a spider, because we can be in different forms in this game, which is awesome. 
Uh, let's head down here as a fairy, just to be nice and safe. Yeah, there you go. There you go. So we weren't supposed to go down that route that I was trying to fly across desperately. We needed to go down here. Uh, right, there you go. You got it. Yeah, yeah. It's It's been a while since I played this, so I've kind of forgotten where I need to go at all points, pretty much. But we'll figure something out, I'm sure. Into darkness. Uh, who doesn't love a bit of darkness? Uh, me, apparently, because I just died. Thankfully, dying in this game is very little punishment. Uh, there are always quite a few save points around, which is super nice. And um, you don't, you lose all of your diamonds, which you spend at shops and all that, but shops are so hard to find. Like, damn it. You'll probably not actually go into too many shops anyway on a casual playthrough, unless you're the kind of person who literally explores everything. Am I the kind of person that literally explores everything? No, no I'm not, but I'll do my best. Oh god, bats. Friggin' bats. Bats! Big on! Thank you. Right, where are we? So, what is this room? Also give you more energy on my drunk. I think they do refill energy. Um, but you kind of get your energy back. I don't think there's anything in this room. Anything I want, anyway. We need to get lower. Um, but yeah, you kind of get your energy back anyway, don't you? So, uh, you know, when you've finished using your power. So, uh, yeah, not too much of a biggie. Uh, where can we go from here? We need to dig deeper. We do. We need to go a bit deeper, don't we? God, I'm, I'm fumbling it, dog. <laughs> Where do I go? I'll figure it out, don't you worry. Uh, we'll figure it out. We need to go a bit deeper though, yes. Let's do that. Let's do that. Um, but yeah, hopefully uh, you guys will enjoy this game. It's it's a nice game to, to look at, at the very least. I just have to see this because you know how much I struggle with the underground. Yeah, don't worry though. I got this. I'll, uh, I'll figure it out. Gosh. <laughs> Yeah, certain areas in this game can get a little bit confusing because, um, you know, even though I have a map available to me, it's, you know, you kind of got to rummage around a little bit. Well, it's just not me, it's going to turn around. Yeah. Well, ca caves, caves are very, caves are a bit painful, aren't they? You know, like, in video games, if you're going to get lost, you're probably going to get lost in a cave. I mean, I know I do anyway. For some people, it's like sewers. You know, I get lost in sewers all the time as well. So, um, yeah, it's um, very painful indeed. Oh, no. Ban oh, God. No, I don't want to be famous. Be gone. Uh, okay. And be gone. I don't want to be famous. Two in a row. I must be famous. <laughs> Especially when it's this dark. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, thankfully, you can see around you and the enemies, but uh, yeah. Hey, man, do you want to be famous? You're going to make me famous, man? Yeah, go on, make me famous. <laughs> ah, bloody. You, you, you know you've made it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, you know you've made it when... Uh, you, you've got a couple of people coming in saying, Hey, do you want to be famous? <laughs> hey, Lexi, how you doing? Hopefully you're well today, my good friend. Hopefully you're well. Need to make myself famous before I can make you guys famous. Oh, well, I mean, back when I used to be a super famous uh, live streamer and super famous YouTuber, I did my best to make other people famous, you know? But then those people became more famous than me. <laughs> Feels bad, man. Feels bad. Uh, I have a YouTube, by the way. Uh, yeah. Subscribe, if you wish. It's up to you. you know, I don't mind. Um, right. I think there's something down here that I've forgotten about. There we go. There we go. Look at all these diamonds. Lovely.
Um, you're already famous to me. Aw, SP, you're famous to me. God bless you, my friend. You can see DJ play through Pikmin. Oh, God. Don't watch that one. It's bad. <laughs> I'm doing good. Hope you guys are well. Aw, oh, Lexi, it's lovely to see you, mega friend. Lovely to see you. Hopefully you're well. I'm glad you're well, even. This is true. SP, DJ, and pals are all role models we need. Aw, oh, really? I'm a role model? Hey, guys, I'm a role model. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know how, but I am. <laughs> Love it. Uh, Alright. Let's see if we can head up here again. Wow, I'm legit lost. This is going to be fun. I mean, to me... Oh, he's so kind. That's, the, that's just the sweetest thing. God bless you. I'm just me, guys. I'm just bloody me. There's not much going on with me. I'm, I'm, ju I'm just me. I'm just who I am. So... If if I'm if I'm like good to any of you, like bleed neck. Cool. <laughs> is it is it mean that I'm glad you're lost? Um yeah, kinda. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um no, it's fine. I will I will figure this out. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. I will figure this out. <laughs> no, it's not mean. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I wanna quote God from Monty Python Holy Grail. Do it. Do it, man. I struggle so hard with it. Yeah, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. This is a, a tough little area. Uh, even when you've got the map, it's hard to know where you actually need to go. So, yeah, I'm glad I'm uh, able to illustrate that a little bit here. Because, um, you know, I certainly don't know where I'm going. Got no way of knowing, but it's okay. Because we're going to figure it out together. Ladies and gentlemen, let's figure it out together. Uh, okay. It would help if these bats would bugger off. There you go. Right. Okay. I just don't know. Uh, I don't know how I only watch it once. What? Holy Grail? I think I've only seen it once. I just don't know. He doesn't like modesty. Uh, I just feel like less of an idiot because you're definitely not an idiot. You are never an idiot. Don't you worry about that, my lovely. You are never an idiot. Let's try over here. Oh, here we go. What's this area? Well, this is new. Uh, random ass area. All right. Don't know where I am, but that's cool. <laughs> but yeah, don't worry. Defo, defo, not an idiot for not knowing where you're going in a video game. Because believe me, it's um, you know, it's tricky. It's defo tricky, and I have no kind of closer to knowing where I need to go so yeah hopefully you guys will enjoy watching me get lost in a video game because he doesn't love getting lost in a video game right oh god please don't kill me I've died enough today right okay because like see I want to break this wall but I can't can I talk about my day and like what happened yesterday because like I learned Dragon's Dogma is getting a Netflix show absolutely dude Tell me. Tell me everything. Tell me everything, man. Tell me all about your days. Tell me about your week. Tell me about your year. You go ahead. Fumble in the dark? That's what we do here on the Upstar DJ channel. We fumble in the dark, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, this is getting stupid now. <laughs> this is getting stupid. Right, okay, so... Can we go higher up? I don't think we can. Don't get hit by everything. Don't get hit by everything. Can we get higher up than this, I wonder? No, there's not much up here, is there? This area is a pain. Yeah, was it specifically this area that you, you struggled with? Uh, um, and I was like, well, one of my friends streamed that game, and I love those streams. So I went back to the watch those streams, and guess who's also in those streams? Me! And so I gotta deal with the ignorant version of me. Oh, you're famous, dude! Well done, well done. <laughs> it was a hole in the ground once I got past moving columns in the lava. Right, okay, okay. Okay, fair enough. Uh, you're famous in all of my streams as well, dude. I was there as I am here. Yeah, dude, and you're famous for being in my streams as well. <laughs> 
Oh man, it's so goddamn dark. I need to figure something out here. I can't let this stand. I need to figure something out, like, ASAP. Because I'm doing something clearly wrong here. I'm gonna go back. I was left af after that. Right, okay. I will, uh... I'm gonna try and figure it out. Because I... I've... I've beaten this game before. <laughs> Believe it or not. Uh, like, at least I matured some what's since then. Good for you, lad. Good for you. Nothing wrong with that, my good friend. Happy for you, good sir. Happy for you. Wish I would mature. Like a fine cheddar. Uh, Alright, let's friggin' go. Let's try this way. I feel like I've missed something. I don't know if I have missed something, but I feel like I've missed something. So I'm gonna go back up and around. See what happens. Let's head up here. Let's try it over here. Fall down. Wait for the bat this time. First thing is that my friend only said four streams. I remembered more. Oh. It's, well, I mean, it's hard to save streams. <laughs> I try and save all my streams, but I tend to figure out. Sorry that they've only saved four of them, though. Uh, right, what have we got around here? Because that's where the boss is. Yeah, no, don't worry, I read that. I read that. Um,. But uh, I, I don't think there's much you can do in terms of going right and down in that, uh, in that area. Hmm. Let's try... I don't want to save point here. Is it, is it across there? Is that where I go? So what about this Netflix adaptation then? Yeah, tell us about it. Is it that way, I wonder? God, I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm so confused. I thought I would be more ready for this. Right, what does this take me? That takes me to there. There is a way through here. I wish I could help. No, it's okay. I think I got it now. We have been in this area before, but there is a way through. So that's where the upgrade was. I think that's all. Yeah, this is where the upgrade was, and I think there was only an upgrade down here. I don't think there was anything else. Was there? No, I don't think there was. Maybe we're finding some stair step bits with lava between. Hmm. Have we seen anything like that yet? Not too sure if I have or not. Yeah, I'm a bit lost. <laughs> it's fine. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Let's head this way. I didn't see it at first, so that's a plus, but it looks cheap. Oh, really? The 3D adaptation? Oh, God. You never want it looking cheap, do you? Defo don't want it looking cheap. Uh, I'm going to try something. Hit me. Damn it. That didn't work. I feel like everything has a Netflix show these days. Yeah. They want to try and do that, don't they? Friggin... Witcher... Fallout... Castlevania. I never saw the upgrade, so we went different ways at some point. Yeah, I feel like we did, didn't we? If only I could remember where I went. Oh, here we go. Here we go. There you go. That's how you do it. <laughs> that's what... That's how you do it. <laughs> Alright, let's see what's down here then. Woo, progression! There you go. See, I'm just not very good as a spider. I'm a bad spider, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, there we go. Was there any more news about the Fallout show? Not a clue. Not a clue. God, do you reckon an Elder Scrolls adaptation would be any good? Spider thing is hard. Spider's so hard to control. Ooh, two keys. And a master key. Lovely. Sweet. So this is where we're supposed to go. You're a great Englishman, though. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Terrible spider. Great Englishman. You know what? I'll take that. <laughs> I will I will take that every day. <laughs> Alright, let's head over here. Don't collect the diamonds. The diamonds are a trap. Uh, Yates, we'll head for you, and we'll head for you. 
have three of you, nice and quick. Please don't be any lava down here. Very good. Okay, we're good for that. We're good for a bit. Love The Witcher though, but I also have never played the game, so maybe it's about adaptation. Uh, I've not watched the Witcher series, but it looks like a, 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 a good show and a bit, you know, as faithful as it can be to The Witcher. Yeah, you're heading the right way now. Yeah, thank God. If only I remembered that quickly enough, KMS. Feels bad, man. <laughs> Alright, more tricky platforming. Well, not really, but uh, it's fun platforming at the very least. Thankfully, we have not activated any of these stupid, horrible slug things for a little while. Now, I believe there's something reasonably secret up here. Ah, yes, it's Wizard Boy! So yeah, um, you're not supposed to fight this guy here. Uh, this is actually a... A bit of a bonus fight, but um, this guy becomes somewhat important later on in in the game. Um, so yeah, let's have a let's have a bit of a boss fight with this guy. If you actually uh, fight this guy for the first time, you actually gain a secret called that guy wasn't supposed to be here or something like that. Oh, thank you for the big hugs, KMS. Thank you, thank you, appreciate it. Oh god, stay there, you bugger. So basically, all you gotta do to try and beat this. Uh, boss is drop the sword anywhere near him uh, whilst avoiding the arrows that he uh, likes to fling around like a maniac. Uh, very hard to get the timing together because you never know where he's actually going to teleport, but you can kind of get him on the hop there. There you go. So, not a traditional boss, it's actually a bit of a gimmick, a bit of a secret. Um, because he's actually more important to the the, le the 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 story later on, but you know he's just there, so why not? <laughs> Bonus fight. Uh, now I don't know if there's anything here, but let's have a look, shall we? Spider girl. Um. Uh, no, nothing here. Just a random room. Lovely. Yeet. All right, sweet. So yeah, there you go. KMS, did you find this guy? I think you did, right? I think you found uh, this guy on, on your playthrough, this secret kind of boss fight. You can fight him over and over again if you want, but there's no reason to. Literally nothing for beating him. Yeah, apart from the achievement that says, like, oh, that's not supposed to be there. But I think that's kind of fun, you know. <laughs> you like the wizard boy? Secret wizard? Yeah, yeah. He's, uh... Is a is a cool guy, but he is also a bit of a villain. So um, yeah, yeah, you gotta gotta watch out for that guy. He will he will kill you. And no one wants to die. Also, how do I get through there? Uh, I don't actually know. Oh god, are we gonna be lost again? Oh god. Okay, I got this. I got this. You need rock form, do I? Ah, bugger. Uh, I thought I'd been down here then. I can't quite remember now. I need to get back up top then, don't I? There we go. Yeah, wave dash? Damn it. Okay, okay. So we need to try and head right if we can. I can't live... Oh, God. I can't live out the... Uh... Oh, God. Oh, God. Everything wants to kill me. Biabi? No problem, my good friend. No problem. Uh, Rockfarm would have been would have saved me so much time, but I didn't have it on my Switch playthrough. Ah, right. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Um, so I wonder where I go from here then. Let's see if we can figure it out, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, is there a way over here? I don't think there is. See, yeah, I can't remember how I got there then. Hmm. Let's go for a wander over here, see what we can find. Death, apparently. <laughs> a lot of blind jumps that we have to put up with. Uh, there you go. So that takes us to there. Was that the only way we could go? God, these caverns are bloody amazing. <laughs> also, my PC date review, man. But yeah, you did. You did when you got your, uh, your new computer, right? 
I mean, you can go down beyond that rock bit, but maybe not. Okay, okay. We'll try it. We'll try it. We'll try it. Because I, I thought there was a way through. But, um, yeah, we'll have a look. We'll have a look for sure. Yeah, if we had, like, different powers available to us, we could uh, go in different areas. But um, we, uh, we don't have all the powers yet. All the powers we need anyway. Uh, is it down here? No, you can't go down there. I think there was an upper and lower path. An upper and lower path, right. Okay. I'll have a look around. Hopefully I can find something. Uh, right. I don't, be, I don't like being lost. No, I'm confused. <laughs> I don't enjoy being lost in video games. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's tricky being lost in a video game. So, uh, yeah. But hey, half the challenge is figuring it out. So it's all good. Uh, all right. Let's try this way. I was lost here for so long. Yeah, I remember you telling me. I remember you telling me. All right, let's head back. Let's head back, see if we've missed anything. Darn bats. Uh, okay. Well, this is hardly the speed run I was hoping for, but that's okay. Oh, I can't get past these bats. Okay, so I can't get past bats. There's a wall that I can't seem to get through right now. Bats are mean. They are pretty relentless, aren't they? Friggin' adorable, but also relentless as balls. <laughs> and I certainly can't get past here, I'm pretty sure, because I don't think that, uh, yeah, sp spider form and all that doesn't really help you here. So, I did get another key, so I do need to go back for sure. I broke the game though. Nice. But yeah, um, yeah, let's head, let's try and head back and let's see if we can find a, a door for the key that, uh, that we had. Um, see what happens with that. Oh. Apparently, spider form is also dangerous. Oh, that's amazing. Didn't know that. <laughs> I don't know you could actually stab things with uh, spider form. I do suppose you are actually throwing your sword, so um, that kind of makes sense. But uh, yeah, let's not get let's not get too crazy. Let's uh, use a bit of fairy form, and maybe it's down here. Hello, that's a bit more like it. Oh, please don't kill me. Oh, I'm so young. Please don't kill me. There we go. This looks a little more promising. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, this looks a little more promising, doesn't it? Lost a lot of health, so sincerely hoping that there will be a torch down here. Let's have a look-see. Oh god, thank you. Uh... Oh, I desperately need a save torch. <laughs> uh, oh god, where are we now? This is a different room. I don't need to be here. Yeah, good luck with that. I defo. Defo needs some good luck with this one, that's for sure. Uh, okay. Don't. Ah, bugger. <laughs> I was so close. Right, okay. A few and far between down here. Yeah, for sure. That's okay. That's all right. I think I know what I'm doing now. I know what I'm doing, everybody! Yay! Alright. Kind of. Behold! The spider! Uh, friggin' spider girl. There you go. And you can kind of float if you keep kind of pressing A as spider girl, which is kind of interesting. I don't know if that's kind of game-breaking, but you know what? It don't matter. <laughs> it's all good. All right, let's slowly take some of these uh, bats out as well. Um, let's see here. There you go. There's my save. Right, okay. So I'd like to go right, ideally. I think right is right. There you go. That's why the speedrunners love it. Yeah, just being able to float. I guess that's, I guess that's true, right? Yeah. 
I don't know, I just didn't really use the spider thing a whole lot, because I found it to be a bit of a pain to use, but I guess if you can just spam A a little bit and effectively float your way to the end, that's not a bad thing, I guess. Right, two rooms to go. Right is right, you bet your ass it is. Uh, right, let's head over here. Nice and swift. Let's try up here, see what we can find. I like finding secrets in this game. This game hides its uh, secrets pretty well. So uh, yeah, let's see what's up here. Hopefully something cool. Thankfully, if I die to lava here, we do have a save point right there. You doing it? Yeah, finally. <laughs> I was hoping to be a little more pro at it, but uh, uh, I guess I guess that wasn't to be the case, uh, unfortunately. Uh, oh, I remember this room. So this is like a, a bit of a challenge room. You've got to... Uh, you've, okay, yeah. I remember this. You gotta uh, end up. You gotta try and kill all of the slugs and then all of the flies that come off of it. I can do it. I remember doing this. Sorry you struggled there. No, it's okay. Glad you. Uh, glad you feel better about. Uh, uh, damn it. Your own troubles uh, with this game because uh, you know it, it can be tough, kind of uh, getting lost and stuff. So yeah, don't worry about it. You should never feel bad about struggling in a video game. That's for sure. I've made a friggin. Tw Twitch career on struggling with video games, that's for sure. <laughs> my my entire four years here on Twitch has been me struggling, so don't worry about it. Be nice to yourself and all that, right? There we go, there's one. <sighs> now, how do we get rid of you in a nice, timely fashion? See, I could probably, like... Yeah, I can stab it like that, but um, sticking with spider form ends up dragging you in the lava, so not too simple to do. Hate being on the underground, yeah. Undergrounds aren't fun, are they? Alright, let's get rid of you. Get rid of you. And then this one should be a little easier. There we go. So from that we do... Oh god, please. Okay, I got the key. <laughs> we got the key at least. Alright, sweet. I don't know where that key goes, but I'm sure it's important. I'm sure it's important. Yeah, phew, and all that. Uh, right, let's see what we've got over here. Down we go. Thank you. Let's head over here. Oh, hello, more lava. It's a very slick feeling video game, at least. Alright. Okay. After a lot of fumbling in the dark and being a bit foolish, we've finally made it to the boss room. Amazing. Let's see what we've got. I think, anyway. Is this Mole Man? Yeah. King of Dirt! Alright, fella. How are you doing? I have no idea how to kill you without rock form. <laughs> I think I got rock form first. So, uh, yeah, this one's gonna be... This will be interesting for me. Welcome back, SP. Welcome back. Hopefully you're well, my good friend. Lovely to see you. Alright. Come on, Moly Man. Moly, 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 moly. I think this one's better as spider, actually. Let's be spider. There you go. Let's be spider. There you go. Oh, God. Oh, no. Don't in don't invite your friends. No one likes your friends. There you go. Shoot with spider. There you go. Ow. All right. We will die on this attempt, but that's okay. I think we've done okay. Oh, you're right. Oh. Where is he? Damn it. Got me. But yeah, welcome back, SP. Welcome back. We missed you, man. We missed you. Could cheese him out with a combo of spider and fairy? Yeah. Not entirely too skillful at switching up like that, unfortunately. I'll do my best, though. 
So yeah, if you uh, keep firing your sword using the fe uh, the spider mode, it should be okay. For the first phase, he usually just yeah goes from left to right. He's adorable though, isn't he? The old king of dirt. Uh, right, where are you? Where are you? There you are. I love it. He just flops around like Bowser. Stay up, grounds, you vulgar. There you go. Lovely. Nearly dead. And boop. One more should do it. Where are you? Uh, where are you? Oh, there you are. <laughs> and uh, one more. Come down here, fella. Come on, lad. Oosh. Done. Here's a cutie. Yeah. Thank God we got him down, at least. I genuinely thought I would be down in that cave for a little while longer, so glad we got it. But, with that mole down, with the King of Dirt down, we can now transform into a mole, which will allow us to uh, do moly things, like digging and stuff. Oh, thank you for the 200 bits, appreciate that, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Right, so, mole down, let's get out of here. You killed Giant Mole! Great! Now you can dig fruit ground just like a mole does. Let's get out of here, you bugger. It's the only place I use this power. Same, same. Whee! So yeah, as a mole, you can kind of like dig through the dirt. It, I think it is actually quite useful, but I only use it like once. Um, but yeah, you can effectively just like skip areas, um, which is really cool in my opinion um, by by digging through them so uh, yeah there's probably some really good application for it but it's not something that I used uh, a whole lot uh, when I first took on that boss I actually beat another boss before it so I was able to use a different power to kill the boss but the spider power is plenty of damage there we rise all right, let's get out of the underground, shall we? Hopefully anywhere. All right, fella. This cave was once used by smugglers. It's old and is of great historical importance. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, what have you done, old man? And it's collapsing. Oh, bloody hell. Run. Run, everybody. Run with me, ladies and gentlemen. Run away from your deaths because this tunnel is collapsing. And we're all going to die. Uh, hopefully not. Hopefully we won't die. Yes, some of these owls do have hard hats on. It's adorable. Uh, right, let's uh, see if we can get on top here. We can do a bit more movement over here. Up and down. Thank you very much. I hope the... the yeah, okay. No, we went the right way, which is good. Uh, down we go. Let's just drop my sword there. Runs. Run with me, everybody. We did it. And then we have... Oh no, we're good. So you're our hero. Ah, we escaped. You don't look like much of a hero to me. Ha 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 ha. So we're supposed to be the savior of everything, apparently. You can't even lift your sword. And these are like the smarmy army guys. <laughs> Especially this general nerd. Some hero you turned out to be. All right, Bacon, how you doing? Perhaps I can show you what a real hero looks like. Let me take a look at that sword. Uh, yes, I, I don't know how he was able to do all of uh, those jumps, uh, Bacon. Hopefully he will survive somehow. But as you can see, the general guy can't lift our sword. We're capable of at least dragging it. He can't even lift it. It's stuck. Must be some kind of magic trick. Is this your doing, little girl? Are you some kind of witch? Maybe. You know what we do with witches? Let's just say there's a lot at stake. Because they burn them at the stake. <laughs> Get it? We burn witches at stake. So if this is some kind of magic... Oh... Ah! There way he goes. What's going on, legends? 
Am I a legend? <laughs> I'll be keeping an eye on you. Come on, let's get out of this jump. Aw, I'm pretty good today, Bacon. I've had a good day. We're playing a, a lovely little game because it is KMS's birthday very soon, and uh, this is a game that uh, she would have liked to have. Well, she wanted me to. She wanted to see it on my stream, so uh, we're going to be doing this for the next couple of weeks or so uh, on Sundays. So yeah, but yeah, that's a funny joke. That's a funny joke for sure. That's the prince. Sorry about him. He's an idiot. Fair enough. He's not kidding about the burning thing. It's been a while since last public burning, though. Before any of this happened. Yeah. I remember it so long ago now. I was just a kid. But then, so was she. You don't forget seeing another kid being burned alive. So yeah, remember- So the story so far. We were brought here after a bunch of cultists kind of um, prayed for this prophecy. We are the bringer of dawn, I think our title is, and our job is to defeat the monsters, take their form, and save the universe and all that. And, you know, the cultists were our friends and all that, but no one real else really likes the cultists. People, normal people, villages and all that, kind of believe that we are, you know, the bringer of doom and all that. We're this witch, you know, we're, or we're nothing more than a little girl who can't carry a sword. They don't really take us too seriously. And the prince, uh, who was just very mean to us there, lo it looks like he could be more of a problem as he controls these armies who are supposed to be ruling this area. And if we are kind of a danger to that, could be a problem. That guy has seen some crap? Yeah, exactly. Especially, uh, floaty girls who uh, who can turn into spiders. Yeah, that's a new one for him. But yes, welcome to the swamp area. Swamps are fun. Everyone loves a good swamp, right? Yeah. What's everyone's favorite video game swamp? Mine is Minecraft because clay is awesome. Right, so with the swamp area, you're expected to pass around a lot of bugs, but also a lot of Dangerous plants and mole men are plenty. So, uh, yeah, let's see how far we can get through this before we start dying all the time. Okay, there we go. Nice and easy so far. Gotta switch to phone for a sec, won't be in chat. Oh, that's okay. Hopefully, everything's okay on your end. I'll miss you though. Um, right, let's see what we can do here. So, these red plants everywhere. They look a bit thorny, and that's because they are. They will kill you, but thankfully we can get past most of them just by using our fairy powers here. It's good how much control you have over um, over the fairy mode. Let's just slip through here. Uh, this this bit's kind of tricky for us, so we need to turn into spider mode there, and then get through there. Beautiful. Yeah, hopefully you're okay, KMS. Hopefully you're okay. Right, let's head over here. This is where the the um, you know getting through the platformy sections gets a little more difficult because as you can see, they're starting to stack up two boss, well, two enemies on. Damn it! On certain platforms, you've got all of these forms that you've got to try and and get through, and yeah, it's hard to do in one fell swoop. I've seen speedruns of this game, and uh, believe me, they're pretty amazing. Will I ever speedrun this game? Probably not, but we'll see. You meant to make tea? Welcome back. H7, welcome back. Hopefully you are well. Enjoy your tea, my good friend. Enjoy your tea. So we're on our way to the village of Imermia. Imermia. Never heard of it. But sounds good to me. Let's head over there, avoid the swamps, and head all the way to a mermia. Oh, hello. No one saw that. What? A mermia. Are we in Wales? Yes. <laughs> oh, what the hell am I doing there? Uh, oh, oh yes, I probably need to do this, don't I? Okay, yes, we are now in Wales. We escaped the cave, and now we're in lovely Wales. Oh god, the home of friggin' wasps and spiders. Ugh. Why must swamps have so many friggin' spiders and 
horribleness in them. Ugh, hate it. Hornets. Hornets! Yeah, those are bad too, right? <laughs> I don't want any of it. Keep running, Mabel! Keep running! Our character's called Mabel, if you haven't grasped that by now. Uh, yeah, keep going, keep going. Don't get eaten by hornets. Hornets are never nice. Ugh, God, okay. Oh, God damn it. Hey, Jangela. How are you? Hopefully you're well, Jangela. What did you say? Hornets are scary? Yeah, I can imagine they are. I'm back, though I never said I left. Nonetheless, hello, DJ. <laughs> Hi, Jangela. Hopefully you're well. How are you today? How has your week been? Hopefully everything is well in Jangela land. Okay, let's slip under here. Hopefully you'll enjoy a little bit of Sunday gaming. Yeah! Lovely late night Sunday gaming. Although it's pretty early for you, isn't it? Earlier, anyway. Oh, hello. Oh, no! Oh no! Emos! Emos! Everywhere! In the graveyard! Oh god. The Grim Reaper! Yeah, him too! Oh god. Alright, so why are we in a graveyard right now? We've not had uh, much else to do with story. Oh, th these guys are pretty scary, by the way. Like, if they see you, they charge towards you, they get, like, the claws out and all that. They're, they're pretty frightening. Monday morning for me. Oh god, yeah, you're Australian, aren't you? Oh man. Well, good morning to you, my good friend. Uh, god, hopefully your Monday's going well. Aha! Take that. Oh, this looks like a nice place. Or not. I'm scared. <laughs> it's high, don't worry, it's just KMS. Oh. KMS is lovely, and I miss her. I hope she's well. Jamba sounds like a nice name for fall. Yeah, certainly does. Certainly does. Friend? Oh, what the hell? Oh, oh, not friend. Not friend at all. I'm in a castle. How did I get in the castle? I well, this game looks super cute. I wish it was like here so I could cuddle up before bed and watch. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> what time is it for you over there? Welcome back, KMS. I missed you. Hopefully everything's well. Yeah, I got today off, so looking forward to that. Nice, what are you up to all day, if you don't mind me asking? Spiders are terrible. By the way, don't like spiders in this game. Play Secret of Mana battle music. I love Secret of Mana. I need to play Secret of Mana again. Oh god, uh, let's get out of here. It's like emo house. Ah, okay, fair enough. Uh... Okay, let's get you, and let's drop through here. So we find ourselves in a spooky castle after we've been through a swamp and a graveyard. So we don't know whose castle this is, but, um, you know, let's ransack it and see what we can find. Uh, oh god, please don't kill me. Um, yeah. Okay, and then let's do that. Nice and easy to fall through all of these gaps, I hope. Yeah, there you go. Kill that bat. Um, but yeah, hopefully... Oh, oh, a shop! I actually found a shop. Amazing. It's about 2.40 here. God, that's so early. <laughs> 20 to 11 here. Amazing. <laughs> Might watch a bit of NCISLA and smash out some, uh, some basketball video gameage. Kingdom Come Deliverance, which will return next week, by the way. Did you watch our Kingdom Come Deliverance stream on Friday? Saturday for you, Bacon? I can't remember if you were there or not, but we finished the Teresa stuff. Um, and uh, we went on a walk with Teresa. A little date across the, uh, uh, the bank of the river with her. It was good. So, yeah, uh, that's one of the secret shops. Yeah, I don't remember finding too many shops in my playthrough. In a very weird mood, very calm mood. Calm is good. Calm is amazing, friend. Eh, hey, welcome to me humble store. We have everything a mythical hero could hope for. We're gonna buy a health potion, cause boy do we need them. Thank you very much. Right, let's go. Now I missed it, unfortunately. Was it work? Ah, that's unfortunate. Uh, it'll be back on Friday, my good friend. 
It's difficult to explore this place. It's fallen apart. And it's pretty damp. Take a map. It might help you find your way. Now, you don't always get a map, but this is the map of the castle. <laughs> So we're currently in the bottom left of the map. Each of those red lines represents a door. And we actually don't know where we need to go yet. Uh, the boss, per se, isn't on the map. So let's go for a wander. Plays Castlevania music. And why not, eh? It looks a bit Castlevania. This is a Metroidvania. Wonder if that's the old bloke from before. I believe it kind of is. Because... Um, all of damn it <laughs> all of the um all of the map guys are basically the same um but yeah we found the map at least so we we can kind of go somewhere um but we don't know where the boss is so we're just going to do that age old thing and go to like the far right and see what happens uh so yeah join me as we all go to the far right uh, we can go up here, apparently, but uh, we'll keep going right. Uh, hmm. Now, a wall in front of us. I wonder if we could mull our way through it. No, we can't. God damn it. <laughs> I'll leave more left, but okay. Yes, yes, we will. Uh, yes, stay, stay on the left, guys. Uh, politics, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's try down here. Okay. Thank you for that one, game. Very dangerous little stalactite there. Thank you. Oh, man. Yeah, I hope you've all had a lovely week this week, and I hope you're all, all ready for next week. I, of course, have my, my first full week of work back. Well, I'm, I'm back at work for my first full week next week. Um... I had three days at work this week, so not looking forward to waking up tomorrow. It's not going to be great, but I'm going to do my best. And you know what? Relaxing to, relax to a little bit of video gamage right here is always the best way to go, right? Can't argue with a little bit of lovely video gamage. I mean, this week we did well in Kingdom Come Deliverance. We beat the DLC in Zelda yesterday, which is awesome. We now have a motorbike. And now we're progressing through this quite nicely, I dare say. A little bit of a stumble in, uh, in the caves, but you know what? It's fine. We all struggle from time to time, don't we? The thing about struggles, ladies and gentlemen, is that it doesn't matter how many you have. Just keep going. Just keep going. Don't kill me, you bugger. Alright, there you go. How do I change my views? Someone make me change my views. I try to be as neutral as possible, but I feel like I'm too biased. Are you biased? Um, I mean... If you... Like, I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> I'm sure you're fine, though, friend. I'm sure you're fine. You're a good person, so I'm sure your views are perfectly fine. But yeah, the caves are hard. Yeah. I felt like I was going to do better, but uh, turns out I remember a lot less about this game than uh, I thought I did. Which is a little upsetting, but that's okay. Uh, I, I've, I've not played it for a while, so it's good to, good to relearn. Ow. Keep getting damaged. Not a big fan. Not a big fan of taking damage all the time. Okay, so now we can't break through this as the mole, unfortunately. But we're getting there. I was down there for ages, you're only 1.5, well, one and a half hours into the stream. Yeah. Yeah, still. I was hoping I'd do better. <laughs> I wanted to show off. <laughs> Showing off is hard. Don't recommend. <laughs> If you want to be good at something, just be instantly good at it, guys. Don't, 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 don't ever struggle. Just be instantly good at it. It makes life a lot easier. <laughs> right. Okay. So, as you can see now, <laughs> um, we are progressing through the top of the map at least. Oh, don't. Oh, lovely glare. A lovely glare. No, we're getting better. We're getting better. At the, that's the main thing. 
Ooh, what's this all about, though? Spookiness. Um. Oh, let me too. Maybe meet a good person in different views. That's how my views change. It's always good to know a bunch of people with different views, you know? But, like, the idea that you've got to, like, at least try and appreciate where that view's coming from, right? Um. Ooh, look at this. Oh, this is all flooded. Have you, got, have you guys heard Jan? I may have a Twitch friends. Yay, good. This is what I did? Yeah? Okay, okay. Hello there, little girl. Are you much of a swimmer? I've been out here for days, and it's getting a little tiresome. See if the raft shows up, didn't for me. I'll, have, I'll go have a look. So we've got the time portal here, but no, no raft yet. So there's more to be done in the castle. I think so, anyway. I don't think we can get too far. Yeah, and that's not solid. What if she gets shoulder pain for dragging the sword like that? <laughs> I can certainly believe that, yeah. Um, I mean, this sword is actually super, super heavy. Like, uh, no normal people cannot lift this sword, so... Yeah, the fact that she's having to drag it shows that it is a very heavy sword indeed. God, that's what happened to me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there, you've, got, you've got to do something in this castle first, so hopefully we'll find it. Uh, let's try through... Let's try through here. I think there's like a, a dude that you need to take down. Ah, a key! A key! Lovely. A master key required. Is Mabel blessed with the sword? I suppose so, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of her thing. It's kind of her thing. It's her weapon of choice, really. And, uh, it's, it's kind of a magical sword because, uh, you know, no one else can lift it. It's just her. Alright, let's go this way, shall we? Now, so we need to find a master key. We've got one key available to us. Let's try... What, no, it's defo... Defo not out here, I don't think, anyway. Um... She's also blessed with a thick, uh, set of red hairs on her head. And they look lovely. It's a lovely little thing. Very dangerous young lady. Uh, right. I think over here, maybe. I think this is a locked door. There you go. We're doing it. We're doing it, ladies and gentlemen. Look at me progressing. <laughs> All right. Electric. You know how I do of electric, ladies and gentlemen. It's like Brave or whatever that movie was. Yeah, Merida, right? It's okay to have your own views, too, as long as you can be kind or at least civil towards people who feel differently. Exactly. Exactly. I find that a lot of people really do struggle with that. I feel like it's a lot... It's very difficult to do that, but thankfully, people find a way, and I appreciate that. Most people, anyway. Most people. Ugh. Um, but yeah, very difficult to do. Alright. No unauthorized access. Uh, Alright. Cool. Down here, then? Alright, let's go. So, we've got electric things everywhere. And spiders! Aren't spiders great? There you go. Drown you, bugger. <laughs> I don't like spiders in this game. They jump around like crazy and it scares me. There we go. There we go. There we go. Nice and easy. Now, we got to try and descend here. But it's pretty hard to do because you've got to time your way through these laser beams. Ow. Rude. Get the save at least. Why are the spider ninjas? No idea. <laughs> the water is lava in this game. Yes, you can't swim here, sadly. Yeah, I don't know why there's uh, dangerous water and dangerous spiders. It's a very dangerous world we live in, ladies and gentlemen. This world is a dangerous one, so, uh, yeah. It's just how the game goes, I guess. But it's fun to try and dodge him. When you have a heavy sword, you can't really swim. A good point. A good point, indeed. Right. 
Now, I'm hoping these spiders do get cut to ribbons by these lasers, but I don't think they do. Okay, there we go. Nice and easy, nice and easy, nice and easy. Oh, God. Um, wait. No, not easy. Oh, I went down. Wait, where am I? Oh, okay. This is... Did I die? <laughs> I don't know if I died. <laughs> no, I didn't die. Fantastic. I love it when I don't die. Yay for no death! <laughs> okay, so let's try and jump on this platform. Easy. Wait for the electric. Go through. Wait for the electric again. Make it to the end. Feels good. I love a good platform again, mate. I really do. Oh god, there we go. Nice. I think we're going the right way here. See, like, the caves are, um, the caves that we got stuck in, they, they are quite the maze, but, uh, this area I don't think is too bad, although I did just get tombstones there, unfortunately. Uh, alright. There we go, thank you. I do recommend this game for anyone, though, who, uh, enjoys platformers with interesting movement styles, that's for sure. Because, uh, you know, being able to bob along on your sword like that is uh, pretty hype, in my opinion. Alright, let's go over here. Now, I don't remember too much else about this area. I'm hoping that something cool will actually happen once we reach the far right-hand side of the map. I don't know if there's actually a boss or anything, but I'm hoping that we'll at least get some indication. A master key, maybe? That would be nice. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, alright. One more. Thank you. About there. Thank you. About there. Spooners! No! Thank you. <laughs> Oh, uh, please don't die. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> that was hard. <laughs> that was so difficult. But that was fun. Hmm, maybe. Wait. All right, fella. Wah! Sheesh. You nearly gave me a heart attack. Anyway, you're late. My calculations predicted your arrival days ago. You're the bringer of dawn, right? My calculations have you arriving here approximately... Hmm... 17... Th 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 a, lot of, a lot of hours ago. R roughly. Um, uh, unless I missed something. Uh, uh, no, 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 you're late. You're late. I suppose you'll be wanting to talk to my partner. Uh, 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 Ex-partner. Uh, the locks away in the chapel. Uh, by choice. Very mature. Uh, excuse me. I know it might look like I've locked myself down here, but I'm working. Anyway, you'll be wanting the chapel key, I suppose. Hmm, it must be around here somewhere. If I were the key, where would I be? Hmm, never mind. I'm sure you'll find it around here somewhere. Let's go find a key. Uh, I was never so relieved to get through a section. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of gymnastics in, uh, in that section, for sure. Feel like I've seen that scientist before? No. Oh. <laughs> Um, he's a good guy. Now, nah, just around an hour. Yeah, we, um, we got there in the end. There's a point. Yeah, it was like 74 point something something hours, right? Yeah. It, I mean, maybe. I don't... Oh, the key's up there. That's easy. Um, I don't think I've played this game for that long, but maybe I have. Who knows? Who knows? Right, I think we need to... Oh, no, we don't. We can just, uh... Yeah, jump on the old platforms. Very good. Alright, let's just head up here. But uh, yes, we now have a master key, but this guy was speaking about his partner who voluntarily locked himself up. And we're not quite sure why. Why would he lock himself up voluntarily? Uh, what's the issue here? So let's go, let's go find him and... Uh, See if he can, like, help us a little bit, because, you know, I'm just going to explore over here. Uh, see if we can kind of, like, help us a little bit on who we are, where we should be going and all that. Streaming for an hour and 38 minutes. Oh! Well, that would still be, like, 
98 minutes though, wouldn't it? I don't know. Either way. I, I, I think it's just a random number that they picked. But, uh, maybe, maybe not. Who knows? We have a... And, what's up here, by the way? Can't open that yet. Right, so we need a key to get up there. Alright, so... We have an intro. We didn't really do too much of an intro today. We kind of got straight into the game, I think. I wanted to try and get as much of this uh, done as I possibly could, because... I needed to kind of remember how to play the game again. Oh, please don't kill me. You killed me. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, we kind of got into the game uh, reasonably quickly today, because, uh, yeah, needed to remember how to play it. This is the part you're on now? Right, okay. Let's see if I can, uh, let's see if I can get through it. There you go. There you go. Stop. I, I've stopped. Stop. Oh, stop with the lasers. Maybe. I don't know. Right, let's head up here. Thankfully there are... Oh god. Rude. Thankfully there are quite a few save points around here, so... <laughs> there you go. That's what we need. Alright, so where are we? Okay, so we're on the far left. Sorry, far right here. So, we have a, a key for going up. But what's down here? I actually don't know what's down here. Yeah there, are, yeah, there are good things, too, because I've died a lot here. Yeah. Not the only one. Not the only one. This is uh, a timing nightmare, so to speak. Timing is tricky. Yeah. But it's okay, because the music's lovely, right? Uh, let's do a bit of that. Nice and easy. So this takes us back up to this room here. Now where does this take us? Oh, this takes us up here. So what's up here, I wonder? Everything else is slow, so slow with these lasers. Yeah. That's okay. That's alright. We'll get through it. We'll get through it, friends. Aha! So a key for another key. Does that seem worth it? Bet your ass it seems worth it. <laughs> uh, okay, so hopefully we'll land on solid ground here. Yeah, so you find a key for a door which gives you another key. Like, I don't know what the logic is behind that. I mean, they're both the same key effectively, but you know what? It's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay. So we can head up here now. Hopefully not get zapped. Ow. Ow. Ah, damn it. Okay, I'm bad. <laughs> I'm so bad. But that's okay. It's okay to be bad at video games. Uh, you can do it. Yeah, I can totally do it. I just need to calm down a bit. <laughs> I just need to calm down a little bit. Alright, so we need to try and get onto the other platform and then head up here. I'm good, I'm good. No need to worry. No need to worry. Thank you, though. Thank you, thank you. Uh, we have made it back to this area at least, so that's good. Uh, which means that we can now use the key um, to get up to... Um, well, hopefully we can use... Oh, wait, we don't have... Oh, we have the master key. Right, so now we can use the master key to get up to uh, where we assume the boss will be. Happy assuming this, thank you. You are most welcome. Glad you're enjoying it. Glad you are enjoying this, my lovely. Uh, right, I'm enjoying it too. It's been nice to get back into it. Now, where was that master key door? I wonder. I... Oh, no, that's not it. Where was the master key door? I think it was this way. I don't want to play it now. <laughs> I mean, you gotta beat it still, right? Uh, you've never beaten, beaten this. Um, so, uh, yeah, you gotta beat it now, right? Okay, I think it's over here. So, yeah, the, the scientist guy said that his partner was locked up in a room um, up in the castle for his own good, and, like, he did it on his own, so... Let's see, let's see why. You're not who I was expecting. This is wrong. 
the Quantum Pilgrim. This reality is wrong. I'm sorry. But I have to put things right. I have to remove you from this world. All right. Oh, oh, you're spooky. I don't know how I killed you. I forgot. Uh, I've forgotten how to kill you, good sir. Come down here so I'm... Oh, my lord. I've defo forgotten how to kill you. Oh, oh, hello! Aha! Okay. Spooky. I suppose you enjoy time travel, good sir. Nothing wrong with that. I enjoy a little bit of time travel too. Uh, can you, like, travel us through time again? There you go. Oh, it's snowy. It's like winter. We're in winter, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. Where are you going? You coming for me? No, you're doing it again. All right. Vultures. I love a good vulture, me. I died. Bugger. <laughs> oh, he's fast. Yeah. Yeah, he is. He's certainly quick. I'm in that part with the key to get the key. Ah, okay. All right. Hello. I'm back again! You probably foresaw this, didn't you? Because you like time travel, don't you? Oh, oh we're travelling through time, fella. Te oh, I died. Goddamn. <laughs> Got a health potion too? I do! I forgot about that. Good point. Well done. Uh, alright. He's like Sans? Yeah, kinda. Apart from he's nowhere, nowhere near as difficult, thankfully. Yeah! There you go. Sweet, where are you taking me? Alright, come over here. Aha! Aha! Okay, I don't mind you switching from that one. So now we're in a graveyard! So he like takes you like all kinds of different places, which is very cool indeed. We've not seen a snowy area yet. So this is actually the start of the game. This is the woods. Mabel and this wood in particular. Oh god, okay, please be quick. More men everywhere. So this is where we fought the uh, the King of Dirt, which was uh, a nice jolly battle. Okay, health potion use. Bacon, lifesaver. Alright, come here, lad. There you go. Oh no, I'm stuck. Oh, I need you to die in like one hit. Please die in one hit. There you go. Whoa. He's like, sounds but boring? Well, he's dead now. <laughs> uh... Was... Was... Did I win? I think... Wait, did I win? <laughs> I think I was supposed to get a reward there. Uh... Did I win? You're supposed to get ghost for him? Okay. Game's a bit glitchy, don't worry about it. <laughs> don't worry about it, we'll do it again. <laughs> Try to anyway. Glitch? Yeah. Um, so you're supposed to get a new form every time you, uh, you kill one of these bosses. Damn it, died. That was an odd glitch? Yeah. Uh, sadly, this game can be a little bit uh, buggy, but it's okay. We killed him once. We'll get better. I, I proved that I can kill him at least, so... Uh, sadly... Sadly, I need to prove it again. <laughs> there you go. You can actually just hit him a bunch and keep him in that one area, but it's hard to do. Uh, Alright, let's just do that. Aha! See? Take that. Uh, okay. You'll get it. Hopefully. Oh no. Oh no, literally the worst area. Oh, literally the worst area. Oh, please take me away. Oh, thank God. Okay. We died. Damn it. <laughs> hard game is hard, and I've already won it. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have my health potion anymore. All right. Let's, there you go. There you go. Thank ya. I need to not be stupid on the starting area. It's really cool though that he kind of has all, all of these different areas that he kind of uh, goes through. But um, 
is a pretty tricky boss for sure. It's hard, you'll get him. Well, I have to kind of like beat him on one health bar, because I have beaten him already tonight. <laughs> the game owes me. Come down here. There you go. Come over here now. Not like that, you bugger. Uh, alright. It's just, it's going to try and swipe me out of the air, though. So you got, you got to keep moving, or else uh, he'll just do a lot of damage to you early. Damn it. Why do I suck? I think I might suck, ladies and gentlemen. It's a real problem. <laughs> ah, damn it. Spider's not going to help me in this. God damn it. Uh, okay, let's do that. No, stay there. Thank you. Okay. Uh. Alright, come down here, lad. There you go. Just gotta be uber patient with a lot of these attacks. Come on. Alright. Alright, over here. A bit of an easier level here. Not as much danger. A lot of mole boys, but that's about it. Oh, hornets. I don't like hornets. I don't like hornets. Take the hit on that one. Damn it. Ah, it didn't get me out of there in time. I'll be very happy when this guy's gone. <laughs> you do not suck, hard game? Ah, uh, well, yeah. I agree, it is. It is a hard game. It's quite an unfair game at times as well, actually. Uh, alright. Pray for me. Pray for me, friends. Electric room. Never seen the electric room before. It's quite shocking to see something like this. There you go. Take that, you vulgar. Praise. Appreciate it. There you go. There you go. It's nice to be able to get a couple of hits in. Hopefully he will charge. No, he won't. God damn it. Alright. Come at me, fella. Not like that, though. Alright, sweet. Let's try and get away from him. There you go. Damn it. How can you so hard? No, it's okay. It's alright. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. <laughs> we can do it. Alright, so he rises up early. But he's too quick for that one. Come down here. There you go. There you go. Couple of hits there. There you go. Couple of hits there as well. It's annoying that I get hit there, unfortunately, but uh it's a thing. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> when you hit one of those pink bugs, they all come for you. So that is the absolute worst area that he can teleport you to, that's for sure. Alright. I wish I could keep him here. That would be lovely. Can I keep you here, Mr. Pilgrim Man? Damn it. Okay. Can get a nice quarter off his health there with that strategy. Damn it. Okay, so it's about three hits before he wants to move. So, there you go. There's one. Okay, let's try and get down here. Okay. Don't mind this area too much, but it does require a bit of fiddling. There you go, don't mind that too much. Electric room. Damn it. God, unfortunately bash there. You hit him as he's doing that weird time travel, it stops it for a bit. It does. It also makes him taller, though. That's what I've always found. The problem is, it makes him taller, so it means you got to fly above him a little bit more. Um, so it's quite... It, you can take advantage of it if you're lucky, but it can be hard to get to above him. So you end up usually taking a bit of damage. It's a bit of precision that... I, I don't tend to uh, be very good at. I just kind of got to hope that I can take a lot of 
a lot of health from him when he's in small mode like this. Also, the Hornets, man. Honestly, I'll just get rid of that room. Thank you. Alright. You just... No! <laughs> I fell down the hall! <laughs> yeah, it takes more energy to be able to fly up above him. Damn it. That was like my best effort as well. Come here, you. Take that. Take that. Take that. Give me one more. There you go. Yeah, so that's an example of what Bacon was just saying. You can stun him a wee bit if um, if you hit him whilst he's trying to time travel. But yeah, it's kind of kind of hard to do for sure. Yeah, I just like trying to kind of beat him over over like the regular ground here, but it's so hard to do. Hard boss, man. Hard boss. But I love a challenge. Alright, there you go. One hit away. There you go. Don't break! Please! Okay, it's still kind of broke, but that's fine. <laughs> Alright, so on the second time of asking, it actually went through. It'd be interesting if the strats in these areas were the same as for the bosses, like the rock boss you had to outlast. Yeah, yeah, that could be fun. Woo, we did it. So we killed the quantum pilgrim, and that allows us to teleport into a ghost. And what ghost does is that you can now travel uh, across the screen pretty quickly. Oh, thank you for the 300 corgis. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it, thank you. There's a strange monument just east of here that you might want to investigate. It's flashing and making strange noises. I'm sure it wasn't doing that before. It can't have been there for long. I used to go sailing around there as a boy and I don't remember it. I wonder how it got there. That's a very important point. Remember that. Remember that he actually uh, used to sail around that area. But yes, in ghost form, we can like target an area and when we let go, will travel in that area. So, very good for charging against enemies, but uh, I think it also has practical use as well. I think you can probably like break through stuff or get through stuff. I'm not entirely sure, I can't remember. KMS, do you remember what the ghost form is useful for? Let me know if you do. All right, uh, I think this is actually the wrong way. Nope, all right, sweet. <laughs> good, okay. Now, let's, um, let's see what he was talking about there. Maybe going through walls? Yeah, I think I think so. But there's a lot of force behind it as well, so we'll see. We'll see. I've seen people use it in the next section now. Cool. Alright. Well, we'll see if we do use it. We've spoken to this fella before. But yes, there was a strange machine. That's what the guy said. There was a strange machine. And uh, this guy used to go fishing near this machine back in the day and doesn't remember this machine being here. We go to the machine. We can travel through it, and then suddenly, there's a green fella here. Climb aboard! Alright, let's go. Go through mods without damage, that sounds about right. This area is fun. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not actually a cultist. This is me dad's old robe. Oh, cool. Just going for a sail. If you attack these pink bugs, all hell will break loose. Think hitting a chicken in Zelda. He's trying to translate some kind of prophecy. A prophecy? I'm part of a prophecy. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. The horde. He wants me to translate it when I'm older. Alright, okay. First bit done. Beautiful. That's a save point. I suppose I should stick to family business. We are the prophecy, by the way, that they're trying to translate. I am the bringer of dawn. Also, that is the bringer of spiders. I just love to sail me boat, though. This guy just likes sailing his boat, and why not? Oh, God, there's spiders everywhere. Oh, God. It's great to see another kid around here. Thankfully, most of the spiders do end up suiciding into water, but... Well, they can't be a problem. 
Oh god. Even though most adults are scared of these dragonflies, and with good reason. They're fine though, unless you antagonize them. Which you can't always help, by the way. Remember that we drag our sword a little bit, so... Oh god. Yep, yeah, here we go. Don't do it. Okay. Missed that last line, apologies for that. Hopefully we'll get a save point soon because I am about to, oh, I'm about to die. No, I hit the pink thing though. Oh, I'm so dumb. <laughs> oh man, I was so close. Oh my God, I know, right? <laughs> if that was Kuso, man, everyone would be cringing at that one. There you go. So close. No, we're good, we're good. Not dumb, not dumb. Occasionally make small mistakes, but not dumb. Alright, let's say a little further. We're on full health now, so... Not as bad. There you go. We can tank the damage there. Done amazing. Thank you. I'll never get that chance. Sorry, I, I missed what you were saying. I was trying to survive, fella. <laughs> Alright, let's see where these spiders go. My dad wants me to lead his silly cult. Can you, like, get off my boat? I don't want to. I don't really have a choice, though. So remember, this cult is trying to bring me back to life hilariously. Um, but this is in the past. We've uh, flown to the past. I just love the water. Good for you, lad. Good for you. I kind of hate it, but it's all right. My dad doesn't like water. Oh, God. I think we go it alone here? Yeah. There you go. Cheers, fella. Thanks for it, paddle. So yeah, now we're in the past, which is going to be interesting. Because now we might get to find out a little more about who we are as a person. Alright, fella. I'm lost. Oh, look. Another straggler. We're stuck out here, waiting for stragglers. Supposedly, we're on guard. But what are we guarding exactly? And what are we guarding it from? Never seen this? Cool. Our, uh, oh, uh, hello outfit. Uh, sorry, hello outfit? <laughs> it's late. <laughs> oh, hello knight. Your outfit sucks, Mr. Knight. Aw, he tries his best. Right in the middle of his conversation. I know. <laughs> Poor fella. That was rude of me. Oh, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Now, interestingly, you may remember this knight over here. He was the one that was nice to us when the prince wasn't nice to us. It's not a rule that I understand, but it is a rule, and therefore it shall be followed. You go on, Ed. It is a relief to see you made it, young lady. It was nice to meet you, but I do hope our paths do not cross again. Hmm, lovely. Oh, hello again. I'm glad you could make it. We were hoping to evacuate you, but it seems you didn't need our help. Congratulations on making it to the end of your journey. Oh, did we win? I'm so sorry, I can't give you any of this food. I would, but then we wouldn't have anything to eat. Nah, you keep your food, lad. I could stab him in the belly. His breastplate is terrible. Ah, yeah, good point, actually. Good point. <laughs> right, so let's go see what's up with this castle area. Let's go see if we can find the prince. Oh, gargoyles! Cool. Love me some gargoyles. Alright, now, where are we headed here? Aren't gargoyles great? He doesn't love a good gargoyle, right? Scary. Yeah, right? You don't expect your stone creations to actually come to life, but in this game, they certainly do. Not a mimic. Thank God. <laughs> yeah. So you've n have you not been this far then, KMS? I like the ones in Fables, but uh, Fable, but those are scary. Yeah, yeah. The ones in Fable are at least nice, aren't they? Ah, yes. The pink. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the pink. You can go inside the pink, but notice what happens to my energy, the yellow thing in the top left hand corner. We enter the pink. And we can't do any of our abilities. We can't be a fairy, we can't be a spider, we can't be anything. The pink denies us our abilities. So we need to be careful with that. As nice as they can be. They were certainly mean to me, that's for sure. Look at this big old fella, eh? Oof. I like the cartoon guard. Oh, God. Damn it. 
I like the cartoon gargoyles. Cartoon gargoyles. I think I remember a cartoon called Gargoyles. I think I had an action figure of one. Uh, these Firebirds, by the way, when you fly into them, they give you uh, more energy. So uh, we're going to be using those quite a lot in this area. Yeah, the Phoenixes, sorry. Uh, yeah, they, um, they give you energy when you fly through them. So it allows you to uh, do a lot of really cool kind of long fly sections. Um, all right, let's go over here, go over here, go up here, see what we can find. Is Ghost Form useful at all here? Does it do anything in, in the pink? Uh, nope, I don't think so. I think, the, uh, I think the pink takes all of your abilities away, unfortunately. Uh, we can try it, though. I mean, I'll try it right now. I'll try it right now. Ghost Form. Uh, Alright. Um, nope. Can't do it. Can't do it. Not a thing. Can't, can't use any form in the pink. The pink is the pink. And you don't mess with the pink, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, yeah. It gives me the impression that maybe they knew about my powers, and so they invented the pink to try and tame my powers back in the day. Not too sure, though. Right, fans of Mega Man might remember stuff like this. Good old timing blocks. They have like a, in some kind of Asian name in uh, in Mega Man, but I can't remember what they're called. Uh, they're very annoying, though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, there we go. There we go. That's a good thought. Yeah. Kevin? No, they're Celeste. They're, they're from Celeste. Good guess, though. <laughs> I can't remember what they're called. Um, but they're just like timing blocks, basically. Now, I don't know what's over here. I was kidding. Ah, okay, good. <laughs> I don't know what's over here. Hmm. Let's try it. Da 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 da. Da da da. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's kind of hard to do. I wonder if we can ghost across that. That would be interesting to see if we could ghost across that. I mean, the problem is, we gotta get a better save point than where we're currently at. Uh, also, we got these stupid blocks to deal with every single time. Damn it. Okay, this is fine. Okay. Damn it. Thank you. I kind of want to know what's over here. Now, I don't know if Ghost actually does it, but I suppose we can try? Well, there you go. <laughs> I could have sworn I got through that with Spider last time, but Ghost is handy, apparently. There you go. Good old Ghost. Isn't that cool? Yeah, good old ghost. Now, the pink and the wall. That's unfortunate. Okay, fair enough. Let's uh, head down here, shall we? What else do we have around here? Uh, you got to be careful of the floors around here because there are certain kind of like pressure plates, like spiky pressure plates, which are quite a pain. This is a health upgrade, though, so that's nice to get. Thank you, game. Thank you. Appreciate it. You probably did it with Spider, but Ghost looks easier. Uh, yeah, yeah, it, it, it is. You gotta aim it right, though. Uh. Damn it. <laughs> Thankfully, we have an earlier save. Uh, so, yeah, we still have that heart uh, container that we just got. It just means we don't have to go that way now. Now, where do we go from here? What's back here? I think there was nothing around. No, I think we got everything from here. And I don't think we can get through this, because I, I think even if you aim Spider out of it, it doesn't let you go through the entire thing. So we are stuck down here for now. So we're looking for a key door. Was there a key up here? I can't remember now. I can't remember. <laughs> Let's have a quick look. Um, no, we okay, we got something from up there. Yes, we got a key from up there, but there's no key doors. So let's try over here. Let's just slip by you, fine, sir. 
And what was up here, pray tell? We did come up here, but I can't remember what we came up here for. Oh, this took us to the other side of the pink, didn't it? Yes, okay. So we do have to go right. The only thing I've done that you haven't done yet in this playthrough is the mountains. Yeah, we will go to the mountains for sure. Uh, just not yet. Oh, we can go further up. Yes, of course we can. Okay, so we actually uh, went to a side room about halfway here, didn't we? Uh, what we can do instead is we can make our way up top. There you go. Grab this, and then this will unlock the door. Beautiful. Alright. Okay. Yeah, these blocks are very Mega Man. Used to hate them in Mega Man, though. Right, so let's get ourselves a lovely key. Yikes. Yeah. Oh, it's you! How did you get down here? Oh, I suppose it doesn't matter. We'll, we'll meet again! Don't know when, don't know when, but I know we'll meet again some sunny day. Yeah, there you go. A little bit of Vera Lynn for you. Didn't we kill you? Um, I su I'd like to think that he kind of teleported away. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, ghosts! I don't think you can actually harm ghosts. You might be able to harm ghosts in ghost form. I should probably try that, but I tended to just avoid them. They tend to follow a line and they kind of vanish anyway, so not too hard to deal with, in my opinion. So, yeah. yeah but yeah, if you can get into, like, ethereal form, it might be good for you there. All right. But yeah, the wizard comes back. That's what I mean. Like... When you get the achievement, I play this on Xbox, so I got an achievement straight away for it. But the achievement's called something like, you shouldn't be here, or something. So when you kill that wizard in the cave, it, it's it's like a it's like a fun little easter egg, so to speak. Hello, fella. Can I go through here? Thank you. So now, the knights will actually try and hurt you in this world, which kind of sucks. Um... Hello. How you doing, fella? Oh, God. Alright, where do I go from here, then? I have so many keys, and yet I don't know where I want to go with all of them. Okay, so we need to figure out where we've been. Oh, here we go. Wait, you're the master key, though, right? Yeah, you're the master key. Okay. <laughs> Oh, man. Let me tell you, this game is a bit of a mind-bender, that's for sure. Okay, so there was nothing here. Was there something that I missed up here, maybe? Um... I don't actually know. Definitely is. It can be. It can be a terrific mind-bender of a game, that's for sure. Hiya, fella! Take that, you bugger. Are you still up there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, are you able to hit me? No, you're probably stuck, aren't you? Alright, so... Yeah, just a chest in here. I don't think there's anything else around here, for sure. There you go. Fight me. Fight me, fella. There you go. You don't drop anything useful either, do you? I don't think there's anything else around here. Like, I don't think this area can be mold. I, oh, it can. Okay. Interesting. But I can't get to that treasure chest there because that can't be mold. Can I... Can I ghost? No, I can't. Interesting. Okay. Probably a way I can get that. But I'm not quite sure how. Because, like, I can go through here and this opens the chest. But... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I need a way... I need somewhere to put this key, basically. I need a way to... I need somewhere to put this bloody key. Now, definitely nothing over here. Going to double check, though, just in case. Yeah, nothing up here, I believe. No, we're good. Does more dig through these walls or anything? Um, yeah, only... Only uh, a certain type of wall. 
I think you got your answer from that last demonstration. Uh, but yeah, only a certain type of wall. Tied that ages ago, sorry. Nah, it's okay. It's alright, don't worry. <laughs> uh, was it up here? Maybe there's something up here that I missed. Let's try again. Uh, so this was the pink, wasn't it? If I go down here, I'm going to have to do the, old, the the entire circle again. So hopefully I'll find something this time. So there's nothing up here new, was there? No, just that chest. Let's grab that phoenix. Let's head down here. Um, don't think there's anything I needed from here. Um, oh, got a bit brave there. Got a bit brave. Um, alright. Damn it. Timing. <laughs> Timing's not my strong point. <laughs> I'll say that to make myself feel better. Uh, okay. Uh, timing. Don't fail me now. Thank you. Okay, so we went down to that right section and there was nothing there. So what about this way? Um, let's try this way. Yeah, and there was nothing but a key chest here as well. So where do I go? Obviously we go this way because the wizard was here. So where do I go? Hmm. I don't actually know. What am I missing? What am I missing, pray tell? We don't have a map, by the way. So, what exactly am I missing? Can't get up there now, because I stupidly raised the platform too high. Uh, apart from you, I've got one key, but it's not the master key that we need, so... Hmm, what am I missing? What am I missing? What am I missing, everybody? <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> oh, man. Anything up here? Maybe? No, nothing up there. And apparently ghost form doesn't help me through that kind of thing. I wish I could tell you. What have you mulled through the treasure box room? Um... I, I can't do that, though, because it's blocked, isn't it? Uh, I wasn't sure if I actually needed some more. Let me have a let me have a look. Let me kill this guy first, actually. There you go. Alright, give me a second. Wait, from this room? What do you mean? Oh, not from here, no. Okay. From here? Like, do you mean like this way? I don't think there's anything to mull to around here, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything to mull through, unfortunately. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm missing something. I mean, I'm definitely missing something. <laughs> but that's okay. We all gotta learn about video games, right? So... Yeah, we can't really get to that chest because, as far as I know, we can't cut through any of this. Um, yeah, can't get through any of that, unfortunately. So where do I go? I'm just going to keep doing the same thing. Mole and then goes? I, ooh, I don't know if that will work, but let me try uh, I, I don't know if you can, like, change when you're, um, inside the mall section. Eh, it's worth a try. Uh, no, you can't change whilst you're in mall. That's a, a good idea, though. Good idea. Alright, I'm gonna keep doing the same thing until something works. So hopefully, you guys are okay with that. <laughs> Ah, oh, you poor things watching me play video games terribly. Gosh darn it. Uh, alright. The pink. Everyone loves the pink. Apart from Mabel. But what about down here? Did I go this way? I don't even know if I went this way. Uh, 
Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. Let's find out. I died. You sound so sad. It's making me sad. No, I'm deaf. <laughs> No, is this what I sound like when I'm sad? My god. No, I'm just trying to figure things out. Nothing wrong with having to figure things out. Don't you worry about that, my lovely. Don't you worry about that. Alright, let's uh, try up here again. Uh, so this was the ghost, wasn't it? Yeah, so about... About there? Hmm, okay. Now, was there anything around here? Oh! Wait, didn't this require a key? Oh, no, no, no. I thought I found it. I thought Ted found it, then. Now, does anything around here require a key? I wonder. Hmm. Who wants a key? Does anybody want a key? No one wants a key here. God damn it. So, it's not this room. So what am I missing? Holy crap. I have no idea whatsoever. Uh, I love that. That's so cool. <laughs> That's so cool. I, 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 I do like uh, traveling around as ghost power, but uh, I don't find too many uses for it, unfortunately. Um, I mean, I suppose we can use it here, right? Yeah, there you go. Can I use it up here, maybe? Is that a thing? No. Hello, too. Yeah, just kind of rushing across the sky like that. I think it's super dope. Hmm. Hmm. Oh! I'm an, I'm an idiot. What am I doing? Is it this? No. <laughs> okay, I tried. <laughs> I thought maybe I could, like, fly out of the map there. Uh, okay. Alright, well, needless to say, I have no idea where I'm going. I thought I, I thought I knew, but I don't. Also, apparently I just died. Uh, so... I mean, the game is glitchy enough, I want to say there's, there's some out of bounds tricks, yeah. No, yeah, there definitely are, for sure. I think it has to do with you. I think it has to do with this. Come down here. Hmm. Hmm. Let's kill you first. Okay. Now. How do we get to you? Because we can't ghost it. Ghosting's not a thing. We can't mole it. Mole it. In Moling's not a thing. We can get to it, but... We can't, like, actually get to the chest. And, like, if we head through here... Like, there's nothing here either. So what am I missing? What exactly am I missing here? Hmm. Can you dig up from there? From where? From, from this room? Kinda, but there's not much there to see. Yeah, there's not much here apart from uh, this portal here. There's not much else around here. S hmm. I'm flabbergasted. <laughs> I am flabbergasted, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely flabbergasted. I do not know what am I what I am doing right now. Um because you can't get through this. This requires you know, a master key of some sort. Or? Oh. <laughs> I thought I could maul under it. That would be cool if I could. 
Never seen this area on YouTube, so I can't help. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We're going to do the same things over and over and over again until we figure it out. So don't you worry about it. All right. So let's check everything one more time. Let's have one last run through, ladies and gentlemen. Let's have one last run through for the night. So up here... We had you. Now that we've been up here because the chest is opened. So it's not up here. So f area one, not up there. So let's get past the big guy. Now we've got two ways in which we can go. We can either go up or we can go right. It's all about the journey. Absolutely, Jangela. Absolutely. friggin' All right, so what have we got here? So this takes us back to the area, the pink area. We've been here. So up is not an option. Up is not the way. We have, we've utilized up already. Up is absolutely fine. Also a pretty great movie. Now, so it has to be on the right. So we've got two options here for right. We've got these disappearing blocks and we've got this right hand side here now this was it's my parents favorite movie they've got good taste i'll tell you that for nothing <laughs> uh so we did the ghost trick over here now there was nothing over here because we've been over here this was just a single Circular room. Okay. Interesting. And let's head back now. So it's definitely not that way. Um now. Okay, let's do that. Now. We've been this way as well. And we've been this way too. And there's nothing up here. This is where we found the wizard. So we've been in all directions. And none of them have given us what we need to enter that area there. What am I missing? I'm missing something. And I can't for the life of me think what it could be. Uh God damn it, what is it? Let me try here again? Do I kill ghosts? I don't think you can kill ghosts. Maybe I can tackle into them? No, you take damage from ghosts. Ghosts are bad people. No, it's not the ghosts. The ghosts aren't the key here. Hmm. Okay, we'll try... Try the other room. But if not, I'm gonna have to try and figure this out on my own time, because uh, I don't really want to take all of you guys' time when uh, you know even I can't figure it out. I mean, it has to be that chest that we're struggling with as well, right? Can you spider up in the ghost room? Uh, there's nothing up there. I ghosted up there, and there's there's nothing up top, unfortunately. Uh, oh, absolutely. No doubt. No doubt. Like, it's definitely got the key, I would say. Hmm. What am I missing? <laughs> That's been the last hour of the stream. Me to say, what am I missing? Who knows? Uh... Yeah, I can't think of anything else right now. Uh, what am I missing here? Pretty sure it's got nothing to do with mole. You can't smash it. There's nothing you can do to change it. Like, this always takes you to the same place. Hmm. 
So how do we get there? How do we get there? I actually have no idea. <laughs> uh, how, can, how can I get there? You don't have rock. And you said you can't switch forms like that anyway. No. Yeah, once you're in mole form, you have to like end up somewhere. It's kind of like once you use fairy mode. Like your sword goes down and you just return to it. Um, uh, hmm. Ghost form is so cool. Yeah, there's defo nothing up here. Yeah, I've not got a clue. <laughs> I've not got a clue. Oh, fantastic. Okay. And I can't head back up here. I doubt I can even head back up here. Like, I doubt there's, like, anything back up here. No, like, this is where we dropped from. So, yeah. I've got absolutely no idea. I don't think I can go through it, right? No. So why is the key that I'm missing? It's a last-ditch hope, but... Google, save me. Um, I doubt Google will be able to help me at all, but it's worth a try. Uh, let's see. Um, okay. I doubt I'm going to get anything specific here. Hard game is hard. Yeah, it's fine though. It's a fun game, but it 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 takes some uh, it takes some figuring out. That's for sure. Yeah, I actually I've got absolutely no idea where I need to go. <laughs> oh man, hilarious. Oh well, that's a feels bad man. I'll I'll be able to figure it out for sure. Like as far as I know. Maybe it's, um, you know, maybe we've hit a, hit a glitch somewhere. Because there's definitely no doors that we need to unlock from the looks of it. I think we've hit all the doors. There's nothing to apologize for. Don't worry about it. It's all good. It's all good. Let's head up here. All right. I need to look for doors. Look for all the doors. If you see a door, scream and shout. <laughs> Anything remotely door-like, uh, let me know. We're, uh, let's see. We're looking for doors. Any kind of door. Anything that looks remotely door-like. Not like that, but anything door shaped, anything which could have space for a key. Door! Oh, not that? No, no, not that. No, that that only takes you back to that previous room. Um... So maybe... See, that's a door there, but that's already been unlocked. There's no doors around here. And there's no doors around here. And there's no doors around here. So, hmm. Let's try back here. There's no doors here either, but if there is going to be a door, it would be around here because there's no doors anywhere else. <laughs> Yeah, because that's, that's one of those pillar doors, but that's not the door we're looking for. Um, I don't actually know what this room was for. I think it had a key in it, right? No, no I think it might have uh, 
just been uh, a bit of a trap for him, for sure. Yeah, I have no idea where I'm going. <laughs> I have no idea where I'm going, ladies and gentlemen. Apologies for that. Sometimes we get lost in life, ladies and gentlemen. Sometimes we get lost. And uh, when we get lost, all we gotta do is just bump our head into all of the walls and just hope, just hope and pray that one of them, just one of them, actually helps us get through. Because if you don't bump your head against all the walls, well, you're never going to figure out where you need to go. Oh, uh, I killed myself. Nice. <laughs> Don't need to apologize. Yeah, uh, I just feel a bit bad, but it's okay. I can certainly figure it out. I can certainly figure it out. Hopefully, anyway. See, like, if it wasn't for the key chest up here, I, I would, like, you know, this room to me feels satisfied. Like, we've got it. We've got the key chest from here, so there's nothing else that can be got. Like, digging doesn't really help so much. So, yeah, like, there's nothing else to kind of get from there. But then again, there's nothing to get from here. Hmm, what about you? No, you can't break through there. Worth we'll a try. <laughs> I mean, you're stuck in the wall now. Oh no, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine, you big silly. Kill me! Thank you. Oh no, actually, I wanted you to kill me. <laughs> Kill me! Make him work for you? That would be nice. That would be lovely if that could happen. Um, but yeah. Oh well. Uh, guess I'll figure this out next time, ladies and gentlemen. Guess I'll have to figure this out next time, because uh, uh, I got work tomorrow. Uh, I'd say I'd using that as an excuse. It's just that I don't really fancy waiting around for this one for about 20 minutes, unfortunately. Um... But I'm going to try and figure it out, and then next week we will continue. Um, but a half-decent start, I dare say. I think we've flown through quite a lot of the early game, uh, so that's fun at the very least. So, yay! Hopefully you enjoyed that, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, did beat a lot of bosses. Yeah, I think we did alright. I think we did alright. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for watching. Uh, <sighs> more Kingdom Come Deliverance next week, more Zelda next week. We're coming to the end of Zelda pretty much. 